Okay, hey folks, we'll be coming in with another beer review here, but just so you know, um, the music store in my uh, city like uh, closed up uh, months back this year, so all we got what we can get our music is like Zellers and uh, Walmart. They don't sell the Cottonmill Kings, so I haven't been able to, you know, like look for their CDs or buy them for a while now, and this came out like the end of uh, last, uh, no, this came out like in the second week of uh, November, but um, s just recently, like so many days back, I just got it, so we're going to turn it on in a moment, so you'll hear a little bit of this in the background, so all copyrights of the audio will go to the Cottonmouth Kings, um, Suburbanoids Records, and anyone else that would get the copyrights, and when we do it, <coughs> we're going to be reviewing Old Credit Amber Ale here from the Old Credit Brewery in Mississauga. I'll show you the can in a moment. I'm just reading something off the computer here. Um, it says that Old Credit Brewing Company Limited, our goal is to serve you a quality amber ale. We brew small batches with no additives or preservatives and in the finest tradition to ensure quality, freshness, and taste. We use choice quality malts, imported hops, and specially selected yeast. Our water is charcoal filter to ensure purity. We heat our copper kettles over an open fire and our legendary aging process gives our ale and a unique flavor we know you'll enjoy. So I hear like burning the fire kettles and all that's supposed to be like an old school style. And they're from Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. It's a 5% beer. I don't know if there's like an IBU content to it but it's said imported hops. So I don't know how loud me and the song will be, but we're going to start the CD and get into it. It's a 5% amber ale. It might be a type of style here. Because when I think about it, I just think, oh, that's just because of the color. But whatever. Oh, shit, what's that? Got to get something to read any tasting notes. Fuck. Red, amber color, aromatic bouquet, fruity, nutty, medium body with distinct roasted malt character, thick, creamy, fine textured head, fleeting aftertaste. Oh. Um, there's like five percent. I don't know anything about old credit first hand, so cheers. Crazy, fucking out of our minds, burning up the leaves, we're burning them trees, see the world through bloodshot eyes. Okay, if I smell it from the bottle, folks. Okay, it smells kind of like a really bubbly lager. Mm, there might be something different to it. So I gotta flip this over so we can watch the pour together. Thanks. <coughs> Cheers. I'll shake a little up just to give it some fucking head. It doesn't look like you'll get a head otherwise. I'm meaning to do that right now, folks. Fuck you, I want to give this beer a head. Didn't look like it was going to give one. So, to end, I meant to address a pour it. Fuck it. It's 5% old credit amber ale. So my aggressive pour gives it a two finger head. But I hear there's really no head with it. And it kind of looked that way. Smell wise. But the head looks nice on it though. Smell wise. Smells familiar. I smell water. Um, like some hops. Some creaminess. Mm, I don't know, soft though. But we'll dive in. 5%. Oh, 
Um, it's soft and light on that creamy flavoring. You can taste some hops there, but you know, they're kind of mild and either in the middle or background and not that strong. And you're left with a lot of a light, malty, ambery, lagery kind of taste, you know? And every sip you can tell it's going to just be dead on the same thing over and over and over again. So there's nothing special about this beer, but it's not terrible. It's the Old Credit Amber Ale, 5% from like Mississauga. And um, the new taste of an old tradition. Not much going to it. It's not disgusting. It's okay. But you just taste the same thing over and over again that I said. So rating. Hmm. Between a 2 and a 2.3 because... I don't know if it really deserves average, but it doesn't deserve low. Uh, so, yeah.